Welcome to this episode of Auto Tutorials by Levision Studios. My name is Lydia and in this video I'm going to show you how you can render out your pictures or videos using the default HDRI render in Blender. Let's get started. So um, I have this AY female character in my scene and this is the viewport shading render you see i like it so much you can actually change it to any other one that you want and they look different and each one look different and unique and you can rotate how you want the light to interact with your character or you can just you can just do whatever you want but i'm going to leave it at default which is rotation zero and the strength one so let's say I want this same view for my final render, whether for EV or for circles. Right now, I have this light set up here. So if I turn this off, so this is what I have, just this gray color lighting the character. So to get this um, same viewport, uh, this same render is quite easy. These pictures here, these images here are actually located on my system. As far as Blender is on my system, I have them on my system. So what I need to do now is look, look for them and locate them where they are on the system. So I'm going to go to Windows E to bring up this window, then go to your Windows C and go to where Blender is installed. Yours might be on the desktop or wherever it's installed. So mine is in Program Files. So Program Files, Blender Foundation, I'm using Blender 3.4, so Blender 3.4, 3.4, Data Files, Studio Lights, um, Word, yeah, these are the 8 HDRI image dot EXR. So the current one I'm using is Forest, we have uh, the city, the cut yard, the interiors, nines, and so on and so forth. So I'm interested in the forest. Now, I may be tempted to just drag this in. It's fine, I can do that. But the issue with that is that it's going to bring it in as, as an image. Meanwhile, when, if I click on this background and do Ctrl C, this is an environment texture. While this is an image texture, so they are quite different. So I'll just connect the forest image to this, so that's another way to bring it in. Instead of just clicking and start searching, you can just drag it in, but make sure you use the environment um, texture, the environment texture to add it. So with that, they look so similar, even though this is EV. Then if, if I go to circles, <laughs> circles have this shadow and all that, but it's similar with what you can see. So if I go out to EV, I have this and this. So now I can just render out and I'm going to get the exact same thing I have in my viewport as the render too. But another thing you might need is the eye resolution of these same pictures. The picture itself is about 501 KB, not even up to one MB. So to get the eye resolution, I checked online and I saw some links to how to get the eye resolution of all this in a Blender Stack Exchange post. So if I, if I, if I'm to show you that now, you see this BlenderStackExchange.com question is a question of on how to do the same video. So down at the bottom of the list, you have this um, list to each of the um, HDRI. So for the forest one, I have it here. So this is the same image the the compressed one is what we have shipped with blender but this is the higher version of it and you can use it for your work it's going to your reflection is going to pop everything is going to look so good and sharp and brighter so that's it for this video i hope you've learned one or two things from this don't forget to like the video subscribe to level notion studios if you've not done so and until next time stay true to your creativity bye bye